According to a study with over 5,000 people involved, the most common dream among both men and women is that your spouse is having an affair. During most dreams, you won't be aware of the fact that you're dreaming, no matter how absurd or eccentric the dream might be. The reason for this is that the prefrontal cortex, the region of the brain responsible for things such as logic, is not very active when you're dreaming. This allows you to interact with the dream without really thinking about it and thus things that would normally stand out and seem very strange and illogical is able to blend in. But just because you're usually not aware of the fact that you're dreaming does not mean you can't be. It's something called lucid dreaming. It's basically when you realize within the dream that you are dreaming and can then in some cases take control of the dream and change it around however you like. There are numerous ways of achieving a lucid dream state. For example, you can try marking something on the palm of your hand. Every time you notice the marking during your waking hours, question yourself if you're awake or asleep. Eventually, you may start seeing the marking on your hand in your sleep and realize that it is in fact just a dream. Most of our dreams involves the use of our sight, the sense that we can visually perceive things using our eyes. So what does that mean for people who's been blind from birth? Do they even dream at all? Actually, not only do they dream, but their dreams are usually about the same type of things. However, as they have never experienced the sensation of sight, they do not dream using images. But instead, they dream using the rest of our senses with the dominant one being sound. But there's not a difference though, as it has been found that blind people has a lot more nightmares. Around 20% more, actually. The reason for this is still not known. Most other animals can dream as well. Humans are pretty average dreamers at best, while dolphins experience quite minimum time of dreaming. Opossums and armadillos though are among the most prolific dreamers. A lot of ideas and inventions actually came to people while dreaming. To name a few, the sewing machine, the theory of relativity by Albert Einstein, Google, the periodic table, insulin and x-ray vision. Most dreams occur during something called REM or rapid eye movement sleep that occupies about 25% of the total time you're asleep. During this stage of sleeping you're basically in the deepest sleep possible. But something interesting happens when you're in this REM stage. Your body becomes almost completely paralyzed. This is so your body won't act out your dreams while you're sleeping. A very scary side effect of this though is that if you're suddenly woken up from this stage of deep sleep, there's a chance of you experiencing something called sleep paralysis. It's a phenomenon in which you are completely awake but you're still unable to move. Your body is basically transitioning from your paralyzed sleep state to being fully awake. Many people who's experienced sleep paralysis has reported feelings of extreme fear and seeing things such as a person or creature in the room with them. Of course, all the while not being able to move. Oh, I'm gonna be sleeping so good tonight. In cases when REM sleep isn't working as it should and doesn't actually paralyze the person, people start acting out their dreams in real life while sleeping, aka sleepwalkers. There have been many reports of people doing crazy things while sleepwalking such as jumping from a building to their death, having sex with strangers, burning down their house and drawing paintings which they have no recollection of later when they wake up. So what's the cause of our dreams? What is creating them? Turns out we actually know this one. It's a chemical our brains produce while we're asleep called dimethyltryptamine. 
Yeah, that's right, I spent half an hour to be able to pronounce that shit. I mean, look at it. It's like they took the alphabet and thought, hmm, how can we fit every single character into a word? And then they just put an uppercase D at the front and gave up halfway through. But this chemical or drug can actually be produced synthetically and when ingested produces some serious hallucinogenic experiences, often completely losing touch with external reality. It's also appropriately called the dream drug. But why do we dream? What's the purpose of dreams? Well, no one knows for sure, at least not yet. However, from a Darwinian perspective, dreams would have to fulfill some kind of biological requirement and provide some benefit for natural selection to take place. And there is something called the threat simulation theory. It says that dreams functions as a sort of training to simulate dangerous events. It could, for example, have evolved to protect ourselves from predators back in the very early days of mankind. And basically, think of it as a simulation that our brains executes to observe how we would react in a certain situation, without actually putting ourselves in any type of danger. And a big thanks to Plethrons for editing this episode of Top 10 Facts. We also made a video on his channel, so you should definitely go and check that out by clicking here. This is Lemino, and thank you for watching.